60 and 60 yeah, 60, 60, 50, 40, 30. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh. You can't eat with your belly full, though. It's key. Mm. So, so now we have the puck. And now. 10 seconds remaining. Is this uh, an idea that maybe they're like dropping the tiny wisp mid? Maybe put a puck mid that's going to do okay and it's not going to doubt to a Lich Mirana because there's no setup for the arrow and puck can always. Face shift Fanatic in our way. I think Puck offlane has been uh, increasing in popularity, so it, it definitely could be that. We see uh, EG Cloud9 teams are playing. They at pick that. it against like Dazzle and stuff, though. Like people who don't really have that much lockdown. Mm -hmm. Like I think with Lift and maybe another support hero, maybe actually stop them. Actually, they have to pick their offlane or no. The thing is, if you want to compare Puck to a lot of common offlaners like Centaur Ten or Clockwork. Remaining. Like, he is one of those heroes that once you get blink, it doesn't really matter if you're Five level 16 remaining. or 11. Like, you're, you're going to be helping your team to the ulti does more stun. damage. Reserve time. Okay. <laughs> your ulti does do more damage, yes, that's correct. Really, um, I wanted to point out something about Alliance's draft, and it's, it's become, like, more apparent as, like, the, the next ban phase went through, is that Alliance have basically banned all the durable offliners that remaining. offer any sort of team fight because the way that they're building right now is they have, I would say, Five four moderately squishy remaining. heroes. Like, Marana has an escape mechanism, but the rest of them are all pretty much full-off over status. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So they banned Centaur, they banned Tidehunter. Oh, I saw this hero twice today. Once good, man. playing offlane by Ice Ice Ice. Mm -hmm. Super good. And once played a support. And um, it's a very interesting. Which one did it do better? In? Wait, wait, wait. I thought Orange Ten Winter played that offline. Size, size, size. Maybe, or, maybe Winter played it offline remaining. later. Okay. I mean, they played more than one match. But I clearly remember Ice Size playing and dying. And he time. played it like Ice Size played, which is like I stand between tier one and tier two from the opponent and I don't care and I tank the creeps. What about Cottle here? Cottle and dying is pretty ridiculous. Well, you already have a Wisp and an Undying. Do you well, want to cuddle? More mana. More mana. <laughs> Dual offlane, man. Yeah, yeah it's, I think it's a good idea. Well, the thing is, the Lich is going to be there pretty much no matter is what. Is Lich like, not going mid? What's, not... what's going to happen is, they're going to look at the lanes, and they're going to just shift to a 2-2-1, two, like, two, two, mm -hmm. I think, in most circumstances, because a Lich, Rubik, Luna, and the, what, the things that they've banned says that potentially they would just go a defensive tri lane. But if they go a defensive tri lane, Fnatic are just going to dual lane mid. So having a Lich just ban. rotate between like top and bottom, whichever lane he needs to go to, would essentially mean that if Puck goes mid Alliances and it's against the solo Marana, the Puck might edge out the Marana in lane. It's to be expected, but if the Lich comes, he can balance it in Alliance's favor. And likewise, if Fnatic did want to dual lane mid, they can just put the Lich there and the Marana Lich still wins. So it's like... Alliance have a tiny bit more flexibility. Depends on what uh, Fnatic last picks, though, honestly. Do you think Fnatic can be greedy because the supports, Rubik and Lich, are not really good roamers in particular? Seconds They're remaining. kind of defensive. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I think with the four heroes that they have now, if Five they went greedy, they would remaining. get punished by late game Luna, which we saw last game. What about Timber? At the same time, hold on, think, hold on. Like, you think Luna is better than Tiny's late late game? I th I yeah, so. I do. Yeah. Because Tiny doesn't go evasion. Typically, I mean, well, yeah, you, you can go, you can go butterfly for like six slot. Broom We're gonna get an MKB because oh. you don't have the inventory Fanatic slots. Okay, so that's the spicy pick. hero. But you ignore the Luna. You have a wisp. You can go and just split push. Yeah, you can split push, but Luna pushes pretty damn fast too. And Broom I think that with the rest of the team, like, I don't know, could be tough. I think you go actually Lich Brewmaster mid in this case. Good. And the two one two would be Mirana, maybe solo Luna, uh, Luna with Rubik. But doesn't S4 play Brew? He also plays Mirana. Yeah. Ten yeah. seconds remaining. Does I'd Bulldog play Brew? I've never seen him play it, to be honest. That would be interesting. I, I see him more as a remaining. Brew player than a Mirana player, uh, per se. Yeah. Well, Fnatic Ooh, are going Coddle, Coddle, man. Alliance is turn to pick. Ever done nah. this in the history of... No, it's, it's happened. Probably. It happened. At least once. Let's send the brewmaster top. It's going to be interesting. Like I, there's going to be actually no lanes. I think they're waiting. The lanes are going to be really weird. Yeah. That's the key of all this. Yep. Stuff. It's an S4 brew. So bulldog's going to oh, be playing wow. Mirana. Bulldog playing Mirana. Interesting. Say, so, how do you think the cuddle and dying offlane potential cuddle and dying offlane would fare? Sick. Like, literally. I think that the Ten supports would have remaining. to basically both be there, and it's so hard to like deal with that. You're gonna die. Trixie's gonna DK in the blade. Yeah. 
they don't really have that much on Rubik or literally until like a bit later on. And Undying's just gonna eat them alive. Yeah, we'll find out. Prepare oh, he's got boots first, and that's kind of cool. Yep. Let's build this build. This is actually one of the few games where Ake was allowed to spend uh, money on stuff for himself. Normally, he doesn't get that item until like 20 minutes in, man. That definitely couldn't have been EGM's call. Oh, look at EGM's items, actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's it's equally greedy as a support to buy that much. Let's see. They have a little power. Salami, nice. Oh my god, if they did Wisp try lane? Potential level 1 engagement here, but the Tiny needs to be in front if they're going to do this. Be able to open with this stun. I actually think that Alliance's level 1 is better. Oh, by far. With yeah, Aura, Clap. Pretty wide margin. Yeah, Arrow. They'll back it off. I'm not sure what the uh, war that they dropped was seen. I don't think so. So it should be good for a while. Fine. The most important thing, I think, for this game is honestly who's going to get the better of the laning situation. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to dictate so much because Fnatic have a team where if the Wisp Tiny get a good start, they can just annihilate the map, you know? Brewmaster is kind of tough because once he gets level 6, I don't think he actually dies in a stun toss if he has a couple of items. And then he can just ulti out of your relocates or anything like that. And plus he can just throw you up in the air. The battle Ooh, very begins. nice lane switch. Unless Ake is the creep for top and going back mid, it's going to be a, a Luna... Many hands versus the block. Light work. And then S4 is going to solo against Tiny Wisp. I think soloing Tiny Wisp is quite impossible. This was one of the better mids, though, against melee carries. You throw a booze at him, and they can't hit anything. He also has, like, the first hit creep kill thing, which is so cool. Oh, he actually skilled clap. I don't think this lane is actually that hard for S4, to be totally honest. Like, this is taking a stance to say, okay, we're not even going to bother with mid. We're just going to win our top and bottom lane, to, like, hard, mm -hmm. you know? Because top, it's going to be a Luna and a Lich, which the Puck is not going to be able to farm against. And mid, S4 is still going to get full experience. Sure, getting a Blink Dagger is nice, but it's not 100% necessary. So the only lane that's really doing well from Fnatic is actually going to be bottom. Yeah. I mean, Admiral Bulldog's going to try to farm under a tower. He's, he's never really going to die because he has leap. At the same time, though, I wonder what the game plan is for Fnatic. Are they just pressuring tower? I'm not sure exactly how worth it that's going to be because you know, he's spamming the case for days. Doomstone too. They really need like a skull here. here. It's kind of interesting to see the way Alliance play. It's kind of like the opposite of EG. They put like the fighting hero mid and the two farmers near two lanes. Well, the fighting hero needs the experience, right? Yeah, but EG do it the other way around. They put their Radiant's bottom tower hero mid. is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. It is interesting though, and this is a very untraditional way of pushing, but a very effective one. You just basically cut the creeps behind the tower, and you're not actually hitting oh. the tower. EGMs should be very careful, because that, that patch of trees does not protect him. Tombstone destroy trees, a decay or two, and a zombie slow will take over. Ah, he's fine. He has so little health at level 1, the little tree has. He knows what they're trying to do though, so like every time they do that, all he has to do is walk up to the creep wave, and since there's no actual disable in this lane, it's going to be more or less impossible for them to die. So, as long as they can pull the creeps off the tower, it's going to be a very long time. Mid lane here, does. getting dove upon SS4, and he's going to get right click down, Avatos, and a couple more right clicks. Kill. Yeah, I mean, at this point here, Brewmaster, not only is he going to deal with unlimited nuking coming out from Fnatic, because there's dual lane mid, they can also essentially get every single room. So. I think S4 is okay for the opening levels, but once Era hits 4 or 5, that's where really he gets into trouble. It's pretty cool. Era bought two branches, and that allowed him to do the combo. Whereas yep. if, he, if he didn't have them, he wouldn't be able to. Yep, top lane. Here comes uh, all the orbs. Lich is going to be going down. What a roam from No Tail. Oh. Not looking good here for Alliance. Well, it is still fairly early. Leon. It's three minutes in. Three. Well, you were talking about the lane is going to be a big part, right? Just get over with. <laughs> I'm not calling GG just yet, but look at mid lane is going to be dying again. Oh, well, Andy would have called GG now if he was a brewmaster. Yeah, that's a GG. double kill, no tail. <laughs> Teleporting. How is target. that a double kill? 18 seconds in between, you have enough time to get a double kill. So, okay, no tail just won mid and top, and you were saying the bottom lane is going okay for Fnatic. Essentially, Suddenly, winning. every lane is winning. Yes. Hmm. 
I mean, the Puck is still not really finding that much farm. The Luna's farming significantly more, but it's okay because the Puck is getting experience. Like, there's two heroes on each side who are essentially just trading experience for gold, and that's Hani and the Puck, and then Esquire and the Brewmaster, because those heroes basically just want their ultimates. Mm -hmm. Now, Blink is good, actually, on both of them, but something that is likely to not happen uh, very soon. Speaking of flash farming, Puck's definitely got to be the better flash farmer there, with the bigger monopole to spam, so... If it, in terms of catching up, I think Hani's going to have the edge there as well. And uh, you were talking about how important it is for that Wisp to get at level 6 to apply map pressure. Well, he's already 4.5 health, so... And yeah, they're stuck in the jungle as well, which is good. Hmm. Oh, Hani could potentially get Dove here. He is also here. Gonna pop the salve, meantime mid. S4 taking some damage, EGM is around though. Hani selling back up to full, using the illusions to scout. And S4 should be A-OK. -okay. Do you think uh, S4 skill build, do you think he should've got a level of Drunken Haze? I think the damage that's scary for him right now is the, magic the, the burst, yeah. Oh, Bulldog! No! Can he get killed bottom? <laughs> I'm guessing he got mana leaked. Nope. No, no he doesn't even have mana leak. Okay, so I he just died. He got too close to the tombstone and he was forced to leap away. Slowed, right? Yeah. 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 And then Radiant's I guess it's slow even. Well, because the zombies will attack. go after you, regardless of whether you leap or not. Yeah. yeah, man, I've seen 28 days later. Those things never stop. They're pretty quick, like. But these, these ones, they have death loss. Not they, Shaun they of the Dead zombies. They're super crappy. You can zombies. just walk away from them. <laughs> it's not ridiculous. Fnatic taking a, a pretty substantial early lead here, and I think all the questions that I had about what their performance would be like have been pretty much silenced. Mm -hmm. They're they're oh, doing. This is what they're doing. Slide with ninja strikes. Oh, leap. Force a leap. Still got him. Sniper man. From the bushes. So let's talk about Fnatic's lineup uh, as we approach the mid game. I mean, well maybe we have to hold that thought as uh, No Tails teleport top. I don't think they're gonna get in again. I don't off. know. So I don't think your supports are very good at mid game. I'm really singling and dying here. Do you think the buff has really changed his mid game? Oh yeah, absolutely. Loda, getting some uh, spirit damage. Oh, he cross blast it. Aki could be in some trouble. Hani going in. He is level six. Look at these right cross the coil. Finally, yeah. EGM though, gonna get a lift on Hani. Should be able to get a return kill. Oh, yeah. oh the reload okay. kill tried. Almost. I think he might be shagged. Buyback, puck, and just. EGM. Ah, uh, he can't. Oh, he definitely one. can. You can see on the right side though. Oh no, that's Oh my four. god. Watch the balls, Lord. Dude, he's fine. Everything's fine. Mm. I think the Undying Chain is huge because the aura going through BKB, I feel like it always should have been that way. Yeah. Like, one of the few auras that does not go through BKB. Yeah, that's the selling point of the hero, is yeah. increased damage that you take when you're fighting around them and you get Mid lane, it's gonna be Ava and misses. Invis Room being the force and well. the Invis Room. <laughs> so uh, the other thing to mention is that Fnatic does have a mid high ground ward. It really helps for All getting right, those Bulldog's about to be in panic mode. I'm panicking! Oh my god, that's He's gotta so leave, he's gotta leave! No, he didn't leave! Take what? Me. It, it would not have mattered if he left, because the zombie would have chased. By the way, why didn't he buy boots instead of the blade of attack? More For attack. Last and then I back in the mid lane here, Hani going hard. He's gonna get back out. And Eros need to get out as well. Oh, he got slapped with a creep. I don't know. The the Gradient's bottom tower yeah, oh, is under Oh, he tossed the creep instead of S4. It's bad. Yeah, he's dead. Era, yeah, he's dead. Hani <laughs> wants to play with fire. I don't, I'm not sure about this one. He gets well, picked up in the air. They should dispel and toss him again, or send him again. Nice play, holy shit. That ultimate was worth from S4, getting a double kill. But here we go though, off lane undying with a hand of Midas. <laughs> I'm digging it. Hey man, it's seven minutes in, why not? Get an experience. He's got a ring of health too. Yeah. They're kind of terrifying to be honest. Because Undying is a hero who scales exceptionally well with levels. Like, all of his abilities are good. You yeah. want to max all of them, yeah. Being yeah. an Midas like this, I think, is um, it's pretty okay. Hey, when you're winning every single lane, why not? This is a I'm ahead, get farther ahead Midas. 
top lane, not going to hit that arrow. Radiance uh, doesn't have much to show for in terms of gold, but oh, Junko is going to be used. Too. And here comes a relocate on the back line. They want Bulldog again, and this bottom. Uh, 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 yeah, E-Gem's also dead. Waning Rift, couple more right clicks. Oh, uh, oh, 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 they toss him in. They can actually get more if they want to. The relocate's back out. S4 does not have his ultimate. Avalanche is coming off in two seconds. You could Ava toss this one easily. Ava. No toss, there's a toss. The Chain Frost, oh, phase no. it, phase it, no phase, it's bouncing non-stop. And the Vage is ticking through. I think Arrow's dead right there, yep. Wow, the Riku is successful for Alliance. Meanwhile, the back line here, No Tail comes back in, a freebie goes to Alliance. I think No Tail was just like, I want to feed too, and then just ran it. Questionable. Oh god, Trixie's gonna die too, four people on Fnatic are dead. And it's all gone, Pete. EGM stole. Dyer's ult, top tower I think, from is under attack. Yeah. Yeah. under attack. That actually is a pretty big deal for things like Eclipse and Chain Frost. That's something we haven't spoke about. Alliance's team fight is absolutely insane. I guess Fnatic is not too bad with you know things like Tombstone as well as a Coil as well. But uh, Dyer's top we just saw you know the Panda denied. Ultimate, the Chain Frost. We haven't seen Eclipse yet. Looking at the net worth right now, it's like. 4,000, close 4,000, no money on anyone else. <laughs> Radiance cool. Middle but Tower is I, under like attack. Those turnarounds for Alliance are way bigger because Fnatic are kind of the team that need to focus on having momentum this game. When you have a Wisp Tiny and a Puck, you want to control the game, not lose like three heroes for chasing a panda. Yeah. You know, also, and then lose your undying. You were talking about how important it is for that Brewmaster to pick up his uh, Blink Dagger. Well, because of those kills up top, he's at 1,900 gold almost, so. After this stack, yeah. a blink's online. This is a fat to do dual lane mid die twice Whoa. transition in the 10 minute blink. Really remind me of Mag uh, in that axe yeah. game that he had. Yeah. Like he had a horrible laning phase and then got three kills for free. Man, things just got a heck of a lot more yep, tense. Oh, Wisp in oh. on the top. But uh, yes. oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 Almost. And he's gonna get out of life! No, he's not. Oh, you wharf! By the way, if you're stunned, if you're stunned, you can still uh, ex <laughs> extend or retract your balls. Oh, he's dead. Extra damage. Oh, yep. Alright. What a steal. It looks so fucking hilarious. <laughs> Wait, why did Trixie make a vanguard? I don't know. Yeah, I have right to click. say, there are not many heroes that I've seen Midas Vanguard on before. I can understand, like, Lada, maybe? I can understand Midas into Pipe. Like, that would be pretty good. Yeah, he's got a tank mid lane, no problem. See? Vanguard the other voice. That heals so much since I buffed her. Give him some mana. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is seeming a little bit shaky, honestly, from Fnatic. Like, they looked really good at the start. They're gonna find Bulldog bottom, they'll relocate. It's also used. Attack. Teleport gonna get cancelled. They find Radiant's one. EGM coming in wants to attack. potentially steal something, oh, I guess. Oh, Eclipse gonna be used. To the bushes. And they're it out. Doesn't do anything. Yeah. Oh my Rift. god. Yeah, there's a relocate on Hani, so he's fine. But meanwhile, Trixie is gonna get found Vanguard. in the jungle. There's just so many random attack. things being tossed in and out. <laughs> uh, this isn't even Dota, man. Like, I don't know what this is. Radiant's bottom tower no. is under attack. Her bulldog's not having a great game. He's not. He's actually died like, quite a bit with the hero. Five living. times. I, I'm just not sold on this uh, Trixie and dying. Tower is under attack. What item builds? He annihilated. Oh, fly, no. <laughs> fly, run. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, he's missing. Oh, miss, miss, miss. Oh. And the bottle's back up. The arrow oh, not going to hit here. They want to go back in. Silenced. There's no ultimate on Brewmaster. That hates, though. I mean, just coil him. No tail's so good at Wisp. It's actually a joke. Is it a joke? I don't think Alliance are laughing. Radiant's top they probably are. Is under uh -oh. attack. Death was zombies. <laughs> Death was zombies. The Go. Arrow. Hit him. The one ball. Hit him fast. The one ball to save them all. Okay, he can't. It's it's too hard. Okay, now get easy. He has toss. He can. Go away, no tail. No, not oh, he tossed the zombie! No. Where's on it? Blink clap, they're dropping low, but the new set of balls have been summoned. S4 and the big new coming out from Trixie, and they get a second kill. Get up if you can. This is really clowning, like you said. Relocate's oh, gonna relocate. go to the left side. 
Okay. Whoa. Oh, there's a Delta split. No, that's good, man. Oh. Oh. Arrow. It's gonna get tanked, but Ake has no mana for the secondary nuke. Sarstorm. No, oh. he gets silenced. Okay, this is really not Dota. Like, is this game? Mm. Casual five-man team fight in the river. You shall not. Like one team wipes the other, and then the other team. It's ridiculous. I don't know what's going on anymore. My whole life is a lie. Bulldogger's right, Bando. Radiant's almost. top tower. He's got to get it to himself attack. first. <laughs> I mean, it's been one of those games. You never know. The courier yeah. could just die if you're Bulldog. EGM stole Dream Coil in the last fight and couldn't do it because he was silenced for like 10 million years. That's a, that's a Midas Lich. Okay, taking a page out of EGM's book. Maybe they just like switch names to mess with people. We <laughs> probably did, yeah, sure. So Trixie's going for a mech after his Vanguard. I would probably invest in a wand if I were him. Or our how much fighting they're doing. Dude needs mana. Yeah. And if you look at those decay, it has a four second cooldown max level and a ton of mana costs. I don't think he, he's gonna be able to do much. Denied. Well, he can pretty much use his spells and then mech and then he's done. Pretty much. If you want, right? Use your abilities and yeah, then... Well, that's the idea. When one ability has four second cooldown, blink clap on top of him. Fly. The first critical is just getting him yeah, he's had Okay. Nice. Now, no tail doesn't want any part of that. He, he might need to get air out of him. See? Uh oh What a steal. Oh, arrow. This is on Trixie. Arrow's just completely stuck on the top. Oh, toss him out. Get away from me. No, he's not sight. Oh. We will get him. Get him out of there, no tail. Relocate's gonna be good enough. Dying yes, oh. to make it he's out. And the attack. rainbow TP's gonna come in. Hani, you will see EGM in the river. There's a DK not gonna... Oh, okay. That was uh, Rubik's DK. And then they come back in. By the way, I just want to say if that was a Midas Tiny, he would have died. That is true. Actually, they relocated air of mid. He's just straight up farming. No tail's dead to a panda ultimate. Trixie, he's got the Vanguard. He can't Midas before he dies. Now he lost. Tornado up on fly. He's also going to be dead. What is happening? I don't know, but Era is actually going to get a tier 1 tower, I believe. Go for it, man. Go big. Toss that creep up in the air, man. Get the 100 damage. No? Oh. Okay. Baited it. Got it. Radiant's that was middle the you better not TP <laughs> Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's All right, top so towers tower were traded. Lives were lost. Look at, really that. Supports. Look at that experience, though. Hilarious. Yeah, it's... Could we just have, like, Benny Hill playing the whole game? I know. Because I feel like that's, that's where we're at right now. The one thing that I'm still really, like, confused about is why Trixie chose to go Vanguard over a hood. Like, having an early pipe against Alliance's team would actually negate, like, all of their potential killing. Nah, it's the Brewmaster crits, man. I, I, I'm just like, Lich Midas now, too? And I guess, like, Lich Midas is pretty okay, just because, I mean, you're gonna throw off, like, one nuke, armor somebody, and chain frost, and then you're probably dead. So... The GM also, oh, sorry, Ake also has a very tough time choosing his spells. It's like, one, one of this. Three in each. Three. One of that. All of it's good, man. All good. Oh, I want to say Nova's probably better than Frost Armor, but hey. Frost Blast, man. Oh, wait, man. Sure, Frost Blast. Chase by like 30 zombies. You're going to be damn glad you had Frost Armor. Which old team bounces off them as well. So if he gets the Agonims. Oh my god. It's actually still not that good. Okay, but it's hilarious. It's, it's funny. Attack. But yeah, it's not I'm really sure good. that's what he's going for. Yeah. Go for the Gusto. I mean, man. what do you think that Midas is going to get him into? X? Hex, maybe, yeah. I don't know. So, we haven't really talked much about Dota this attack. time. Oh, we did. It's oh, we did. More or less, like, what the hell's going on. But uh, I, I want to say that I still think Fnatic have a lead here. Substantial one, but a big enough lead to where I feel like they can't squander it. Like, you need to try to pressure something because every time you fight and S4 has a Zulti, that's basically a win for Alliance because Brewmaster is one of those heroes that has such good teamfight control mm -hmm. that if you try to go into him when he has that up, you're probably not going to be able to win and you're not going to be able to burst him down anymore because he has his point booster, so he's got enough health to survive basically the burst unless it's like a perfect puck follow-up, Coddle Blast, and the Wisp Tiny. Yeah. Like, it needs to all land to kill him before that all goes off. Yeah, this game, the team fight is really coming from the Wisp Tiny as well as the spells, the Tombstones, the Dream Call, 
And if you think about it, if you tornado up Era in the air for six seconds, and then Boulder Bash you him don't for even two have more to seconds, do that. you can just drunk and haze him and if you have that, Sure, and... yeah. I mean, it, it, there, there's so many ways to actually lock down Era that he is not going to be a factor. He's so far away from BKB as well. He hasn't even finished his agony. And your three Brewmaster split could easily kill the Tombstone if you want to do that. So I feel like if there's a five, five to five team fight, uh, Era. He either has to basically dodge a tornado by having the Broodmaster cast it on somebody else first, or he's not going to do anything. They could do it to Trixie as well, I guess. Yeah. I mean, those are probably the two targets. You wouldn't do it to Hani, and I don't think you would do it to, um, to No Tail or Fly. So probably Trixie or Air are going to be the ones being put in the air. But Tiny, of course, being like the foremost, like, yeah, we, we want to make sure he's not yeah. killing anybody. And I think that's worse than just putting any other carry in the air because you invest your wisp into the tiny, right? Like you're putting two heroes for one hero's damage output. So if you cycle in tiny, it's essentially cycling two heroes because you don't get like, for example, if you had a crystal maiden or something, she's gonna do some AOE damage. He's got his BKB now too, so things are gonna get a little bit tougher. Era is not gonna be able to just walk in and insta kill him anymore. This window where Era doesn't have a BKB, they can just like team fight right now and push. But I don't think they can do that. I don't think Fnatic can defend. The important thing to keep in mind is that Undying Aura still goes through that BKB, so the right-click damage from Aera is still going to be there. No, he's not going to be able to hit, hit anything, because it's going to be... I think he could just go MKB instead of BKB. I, I mean, BKB is still good. But then good. they just spin him. BKB is still good, but I, I don't think they can See, Trixie throws down the tomb immediately. The rest of the team from Alliance is coming in. Trixie, though, is very, very tight. He can't get that kill off on himself. He's trying. The kill's gonna go up, but he's gonna die regardless. The coil is gonna hit on top. As 4 has got ultimate, so he can't really fight Blink. But no Blink. Ani's gonna get bursted down. Wow. That's an EGM too. They relocated for a tower, by the way. So there is no Wisp relocate for the fight mid. And they didn't even get the tower, actually. They're still running back to the tower that they relocated Dyer's to to try to kill it, which was bottom. Has fallen. Well, they have a lot of confidence that Fly is going to try to defend this tier two. Actually, it will be able to. And they're just going to go in. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Tower secured. I honestly don't Dyer's think it's worth giving up a tier one, though. Like, if you can relocate in, I think if you're Fnatic, you would want to fight. But do you think they could have won that fight, though? Because they, they took that one even though Brewmaster... Like, Brewmaster didn't attack. even need to ult, and they still won that. They overcommitted so hard, though, on the Undying. Like, that's the perfect time to relocate, right? Because you relocate after they've dropped, like, everything on Trixie. And sure, they, they barely killed them. They could use any their ulties. Yeah, but they used all of their skills. Like, sure, attack. the Panda could have ulted. Uh, um, uh, oh, Noto's dead. Okay, so is Era. Tethering, he gets lifted up. Era's really far away thanks to the movement speed, but there you go, six seconds disabled. Enough time for the entire team to get next to him. Yep, he did. He's oh, gonna try to take down Lich. One more creep, creep up, Lona! Oh, oh, they actually hit him, but it wasn't enough. Arrow of Destiny from Bulldog. Trespasser. That's not really an arrow of Destiny. His Destiny like was a, to die. That's like an arrow of, I pretty much can't miss this. The Bulldog really is had a rough right, game. Fine. Okay, so S4 suddenly Agonims. Game is very difficult now if you're Fnatic. I think Era, what do you think, do you think he needs to, I just said He is going to go BKB. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He is going to go BKB. He has to. Really does, yeah. I just think it's a crappy situation to have to go BKB as Tiny. Like, that's the reason you pick Tiny is because you don't have to make a BKB on the hero. But Alliance have picked a lineup that kind of necessitate him buying it. You can tether first, can't you? You can tether that yes. BKB. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's not... So you still have overcharge and stuff. Like, you're still going to be doing a reasonable amount of damage. I just think that... I'm more comfortable with my Luna having a BKB than I am my Tiny having a BKB because that delay is like a real damage item. Like if he wants to make an AC or if he wants to make a butterfly, it's going to be ages away. They're going to relocate again though. Just for Tower. Yeah, why top not? Tower is Good. Under attack. I feel like relocate is, tower is under attack. like a Midas essentially. If you don't use it on cooldown, you're giving us something up because every time Radiant's you use it, you, it's just free fallen. stuff. What are you just getting damage on a tower or pushing for space? The last time they died. But... Midas don't Dyer's kill. Bottom tower has fallen. Well, sometimes if you Radiant's go Midas in the middle of the fight chain, <laughs> it does. Dyer's Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Which, by the way, if you look at Keeper, uh, Fly's Keeper, he's he's going for eggs. We're getting one of those games, man. I think that's when you know you want to take the game to like 79 minutes when you're like, okay. Imagine how hard it will be when Tiny is getting like thrown around the map by Call and Wisp. Like they won't be able to do anything. Actually, they haven't done that uh, auto relocate save, right? When you have Wisp as well as Keeper, nobody should ever die on the map. Yeah, you can relocate them before they beam back in. Like, yeah. yeah. Take some serious timing though.
I believe. You can just count it down. There's a number over your head. Yeah. All right. Not, that's not that hard. <laughs> also, there is going to be a stage, a point of a game where Tiny can just right-click the bruise, splits, and just kill them. But that requires him to not get thrown in the air. It's not yet, though. That's the yeah. thing. Like, even very, if he has the BKB, I don't think he wants to hit those things unless they're, like, chasing somebody and trying to kill them, more mm -hmm. or less. I mean, if they're on him, then I guess he would cleave them anyway. You would have found that he could be really fast, though. Like, super fast. But right now, like... Well, they kill two towers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the thing is, they, they're not going to be able to relocate many more towers, because the closer you get to the base, the harder it is to relocate and actually kill a tower. Because, like, proximity-wise, they're much tighter, right? So it's very difficult to get to them without being noticed or have Alliance react to it. So I just want to point out that let's just look at like Ultra Late Game because it seems like, at least for Fnatic, that's how they want to play it. Um, they have Tiny Wisp. We talked about the difficulties that he's going to be running into. And maybe now because here comes the smoke gank. They can smell it though. Wait, nobody sees us. If that smoke breaks, they'll know. <gasps> oh my god, he's that? Okay, bro. Okay. Yep. Wow, EGM, that time. <laughs> Tail is, um, That's fine though. Yeah, super dead. Lost the wisp. Okay. That was a really sick flick, to be honest. Like really knowing was. exactly the only place that could stand, that would have broken smoke there. You know? Yeah. It's like boom. Surprise, no motherfucker! All right. So late game, you have a puck, which is not going to be a factor. It feels like, because your dream call not going to hit Luna, who has BKB. The brew master is such that BKB because when he splits, he doesn't care about coils. The house isn't very good. Like yeah, the, 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 the zombie house is not going to do much. And then you have Keeper who is going for Axe, which is nice, but you know when a fight breaks out and you need damage, also not exactly a huge factor. I really don't think that Fnatic can give this away now. Like, yeah, they, they have to fight for this. If they give this away, it's going to be so hard to take an engagement. All right, big Illuminate comes in. There's a Brewmaster also. They really don't want to fight this either. Oh, Eric can't be here. Never mind. They're not going to be able to do anything. Arrow is going to hit on Trixie. That's going to bite him a lot of time. There's a lot of misses going to the ground. Here comes a Blink and a Coil, but he can't really steal it. He wants to steal the Eclipse. not going to do too much. And Roshan is going to get taken down. They even invest the Brewmaster all the time. Just curious. Oh, that's a lot of investment. Yeah. Trixie, he bought that. Oh, he wants to fight this. That is a very... I mean, he's got BKB. He's so. BKB. He's BKB gets better. activated here. They're going to oh, go right on Rubik. Rubik, Dyer's one more hit. It's going to be dead. Yep. Nicely done. That scores out of there, though. That's fine, though. They just use a 10-second BKB for a support kill. Trixie bought back. Relocates to the front line, though. It's going to be coming in. It's <laughs> one Bulldog with a Chain Frost. It's right there. They have to split. Nicely done. They're going to pick off Bulldog. Meanwhile, the illusions are going on no tech. He's going to be fine as well. Invisibility. Can retether, maybe? Yeah, they're going to be back. Yeah. How was that? A BKB for two kills. That was a little bit better, but Bulldog hasn't really been, like... His farm, to me, doesn't really matter that much. It's more about if he lands arrows. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, he was put in a position, basically, that he wasn't going to have a great time anyway. Mm -hmm. So getting those two kills is probably, like, outside of killing Ake, I guess, the, the lesser valuable heroes. And your Midas Undying had to buy back. I don't know. Aki is three levels higher than Bulldog. Aki also has 3,200 gold. I think killing Aki is pretty good. <laughs> is, is this Axe or what? It might as well be. A, a lot of HP. It would be really annoying, honestly, to get Axe. Like, especially if you're a wisp. Yeah. You're like, God, I can never be near you, man. He just, just wants wanna to hug you. Just wants to hug his friend. But EGM is actually really close to Axe as well. Going to the secret shop, it's gonna be Axe. This is one of those games where it's like, the early movement from Fnatic, more or less, kind of won in the laning phase. But then Fnatic, like, that commitment top, I think, like, really, really hurt them because that yeah. almost gave S4 his whole blink dagger. Yeah. Two levels. Well, Fly is uh, farming nonstop in his own jungle as well. So he that's his second piece, third piece. So he's going to have an act very, time, very soon as well. But the problem is, can they actually abuse the recall? Apart from just like, hey, we're TPing around. See the way Lola got knocked out. Zera dead. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Ava, Arrow, no, Arrow, Creep. Okay, Arrow, get him out of there. Oh my god. All right, let's do the countdown. TP him up Dyer's top to get some far. They're trying to. All right, we're going to see he a recall. He has to do it soon. A recall? He's not doing it. He's a little no-tail die later. Please. 
He's gonna be dead too because there's no tether onto him. This is the arrow's bullet. That should be it for sure safety. They might lose Rax here. Yeah. It's Luna. Uh, uh, Twilight. Twilight. Yeah. Or there goes his axe for a while at least. I don't know. The thing about tiny teams is you can really never count them out of a game because Even it's always like the down. relocate, like overcharge, kill your whole base stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's looking pretty good right now. Good era, nice. You don't race it down. Dyer's 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 old tombstone's gonna get dropped. They're gonna get wrecked by Loda. He's just coming in with the Aegis and the Eclipse. There's no buyback on Fly. He dies. Trixie's dead as well. Where's the TP back on Tiny? No, he's just going for the trade. All right. Well, in, in terms of trade, Loda oh, team trade man versus just a Tiny. Yeah, yeah. trade here. He's gonna try, right? Wiz is gonna come in and overcharge him. No. no. The Wiz had to relocate before. Dyer's that's bottom a... tower has fallen. That's, that's Rax. Dyer's bottom barracks oh, are right. under attack. At least get the Aegis. The Aegis. Oh, Aero's coming in. This could be a turnaround. Is there a new BKB on Loda? No, it's still on cooldown. Because Aero had his BKB yet, though. That's the question he does. Oh, but oh, everyone's able to just get away. Oh, what Except is that? Jim. They got relocate. Do they go ham here? That's four just casually farming in the base. Maybe not the best choice. Well, Aero can't use them. Well, Aero's gonna be a hobby. Oh. It's gonna be a green goose. That's four tanking up in the front line. He is so tanky. Yeah, all the miss. The drunken haste is on top of Aero. Blink back in. He gets stunned by something. Oh, Cracky is in here. And Aero, well, overcharges OP, guys. Well, I think they're still gonna lose the center racks here, but they might get some kills out of it. Hani's gonna be able to find Bulldog. Melee racks drops. Coil's still down for about 15 seconds, and Loda now has his Manta and BKB up, so he'll be able to get away from this. Ooh, Holy BKB shit. BKB TP. Loda just... That was the I am terrified, I'm out of here, BKB. Honey just chasing ghosts. Why not, man? Attic right now, you need to make something big happen. Like, you need to either win a fight, or you need to go, like, get Tiny one more item and then try to go for the backstab, you know? If they didn't have that Roshan, they wouldn't have been able to get bottom racks. No, I agree. That's why I was so confused. Like, Arrow went top, No-Tail was dead. They didn't try to save No-Tail with the... Uh, ...hole? Yeah. The and then Arrow didn't have any way of getting to Roshan, so it was like... You're fighting a 3v5. You say it, though, but it is really hard to time it. Like, you have to time no, it. No, but he didn't even try. Yeah. Like, he was just like, nah, you're dead. Well, it's just, I guess, something that you forgot about. I mean, it's a thing you can't do, but you have to. And the other thing is, if he had like actually gotten no tail out, it would have been Wisp and Coddle together when S4 went in. Yeah. yeah. Overcharge, you would definitely save him there. But I uh, let's look at the Roshan, Andy, and uh, teach me this new tech. What, Wait, what, what, is this? what is this? They changed it. They changed oh it again. It's, it's actually a clock now, so you can see. Okay, so this is actually... So uh, five and a half minutes have passed, right? Is Am I uh, reading this properly? Yeah, that's, that's what it looks like to I me. I guess, yeah. And then... Stargate. Or just Whatever. a cl clock on the wall, really. No, it's Stargate. Or yeah. bother there, honey. We discussed this for like 20 minutes <laughs> one time. Get out of there, honey. He is out, man. He's fine. I don't know, man. Oh, he's fine. Oh, the rest of them are though. Yeah, can get caught once again? Force pump, BKB, that's so oh, bad. Oh, just oh. mini bounce. Run. All right, the tomb house. Just gets exposed. If it wasn't enough that he had to pop BKB for that, now he's like... Oh man, he's really tanky. They might be able to turn this around a little bit. They can be popped by Loda. Era's still alive, man. Just really not taking that much damage at all. They're gonna come in and try to secure the rain tracks, but it's got back door protection. They don't even have creeps. Hit it, boys. And it's like, we do lots of damage. No, we don't. We're out of here. Oh, oh four man coil. But there's no one Reload the coming line. in. It's gonna be tiny to come in. The app is gonna get pulled on for sure. He's drunk in haste, so he's not attacking Miwa. F4, he's got a DD. No tell says, not me. Get me out of here. And he's gonna be back just fine. Miwa, blink blocked from Hani, at least changing the path. Loda goes on the right. We have Avalanche coming in soon. The Eclipse and the Jukes, it's hitting everybody. Miwa looks like Tether coming back in. The toss in from S4. Loda's fine. Unless we're gonna see a blink from Hani. Hani's not giving chase. He's going for S4. S4 with a BK BTB. Toss him out. Yeah. It cancels the TP. Of course, F now, and he's dead. He's under attack. How many BKB TPs have we seen? That was really well coordinated, to yeah. be honest. It, it was like Delta split. I got him. It's good. Right. I'm kind of surprised he didn't chase Loda though. I thought Honey for sure would chase Loda in that situation. Yeah, I thought so too. I mean, his BKB just came up, but he didn't have it when he was like being chased. So, still, man, fanatic, showing some life. They didn't even lose the range racks off yeah. four man coil. Holy shit. I, I'm just waiting for uh, EGM to do the egg steal on Hani's coil and do an 11 second stun. Like, that's when I'll lose it. 
It's not, it can't be it, an 11 will, second look, stun. It's an 11 second lockdown. Yeah, okay, it's, it's a 7.9 second stun, and then they all walk away in the last second, and then they just... At the, like, the very, the very last, last second, yeah. Okay, okay. It's like, wait, boys, we can't move yet. Because, I mean, when you get coiled by 8 seconds and the Chain Frost is flying, like, you gotta make some that's decisions. A, that's a fairly valid point, to yeah. be honest. I mean, the coil is such a big, like, radius that you can walk far enough away, I think, to stop Not the frost. Not when there's five units well, in there. Have to walk okay, exactly so if, you're saying direction. if you get a five-man coil chain frost, yes. though, they're all done. it'll be sick. Yeah, okay, I agree. That would be good. It's gonna happen. Right, so Ake's got the, his axe up there finished. Just... Arrow's yeah. got his AC. <clears throat> Ake. Wait, for a while, look. I honestly think if Era gets, like, a crit, or a butterfly or something, I think they might still be, like, very capable of winning fights. The thing is, the, the shorter the BKB gets for Luna, the scarier it gets for her to actually be able to live through the team fight. Pedal because, faster. Like, the follow-up from Fnatic is still quite strong. And I'm not saying Alliances isn't, but I think the tiniest damage output right now is actually still higher. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. L Lumi's computer had a hard attack. I don't know. And then both of you guys were just like... Yeah. Yeah. Two man coil after a blink. Coil stolen, I think. Yeah, here comes the yeah, coil is going to be used. Oh, and that's an accident for the coil, man. 5 minutes of pause, I'm going to go back to the end of the match. I'm going to go back to the end of the match. I'm going to go back to the end of the match. Yep, he's dead. I think he could walk out of it. He's walking out of the Lumi's. No, no. But he stole coil. Yeah, I was, he did. It didn't really work out. It didn't do anything. No. Look, it needed a chain frost. They were it needed gold. a chain frost. All right, man. You're like rubbing your chair. Calm down, man. They get excited, these chairs. Is that, is that gonna get refresher? Are we looking at a hex? I think hex is much more reasonable. The problem that they're having right now is that overcharge is making the tiny so freaking tanky that they can't kill him right now. Yeah. Like the Luna actually needs more farm to be able to kill him. And the thing is, since he had to buy a BKB so soon inside of the game, that his BKB is already down to like four seconds. So he can't really stand in the fight. And in that engagement, he was actually like one of the first ones who got initiated. He also up. has Vlad Zora, so he has lifesteal. And yeah. uh, no tail position in these fights, so he's so good. In the bushes. What I feel fire. like this is like a show match of the new patch. We have two teams being clowny. <laughs> Uh, S4? Okay, he's got a BKB. He's, fine. he's delaying, man. He's this fine. is the late tactic. He's got his He's going to use it right now. Tornado one on the air. Okay, that's oh. good. And then the Panthers are dying. That's no, no, not no. Good. It's not dying fast enough, man. The rest of the Alliance are going to come here. Okay, Chief Ross in the pit. It's infinite bounces. Get out of there, guys. It's the babies. It's bouncing on the babies. Oh no, get out! The Panic Station! <laughs> okay, it's fine. Okay, it's it didn't work out. Mew on the backside, the Eclipse is coming in, flies dead straight up, and Era needs his blue ball! Where's his blue ball? It's back in the base, he's so right clicking though! Look at the heal coming up from the blue ball back in his head. Immediately, Era just mad at him! Relocate okay, after my back! Okay, heal melt. And we have EGM on the run, he gets scouted, toss it! The blink on the go to What do you got? EGM! Okay. He can't blink no more because it's uh, yields. He's not gonna pay for his indiscretion. He has so much strength. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Take it easy. Radiance top tower is under attack. I think Shane was more excited than the audience Dyer's was. Dyer's bottom barracks <laughs> are under attack. The plays. That was okay for Fnatic. Team wipe. Lose a uh, lose a coddle, lose a tiny. Not too bad. Well, I guess I lost was too, but he bought back. That range rack. Not the catapult, please! Oh, it's screwed. Oh. Dyer's bottom barracks has fallen. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna applaud the catapult, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's such a good catapult. Look at that experience change! Holy balls. Okay, that is some... That is some serious turnarounds. Seen some shit in my day. Look at the gold graph. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's like uh, those heart monitors or whatever when you're yeah, in the yeah. hospital. That's what it looks like. Mine look a bit dodgy, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> it's been better. So Roshan still uh, prioritized here, at least by Fnatic. And the difference with Fnatic is, like, when they go in, they're so much closer to their side of the map at this stage that it actually kind of matters that they're dire, because Alliance have to consistently be put, like, in a really awkward spot in the map, right? Like, they have to be sitting, like, towards mid. It's like, okay, not 
That's the best position. Arrow's Arrow is going to be off the mark. And Roshan's going to be dying here. The need for Aegis here for Arrow. Yep, he picks it up. So he doesn't really need to worry about that first BKP. He's pretty close to his next item as well. Yep. I think he goes crit, honestly. Oh, no. Let me walk. It's just your... In game, other in-game is fine. What's going on? I can... Apparently disconnected from the game. I'm no longer here. You see? I'm out. That's it. No, I think the PC that Shane is using is crashed. That That's just happened to Lumi as well. Yeah, there's a, there's a screen right I here. can't see it. What do you mean you can't? It's right in front of there you. There were shadows, man. Shadows. It's... Not to say right now. I'm lost. Era got the uh, oh. demon edge. Is he going MKB or is he going crit? That's all his money. MKB. 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 For that talisman evasion, man. For yeah, Bruna. it's still really good. Yeah. yeah. And it's also for the Brewmaster. Mainly for the Brewmaster. Yeah, sure. Literally could not hit Brewmaster in the last way. Literally dealing no damage. Literally no damage. Oh, my question is... Fake ball, don't be fooled. Do Alliance actually have enough to break the base? Well, not in the next 10 minutes or so. I think they need Bulldog to catch up. And Bulldog has, you know... Okay, this is like 20 minute farm. That's fine. Take it easy on him. No, fine. but I'm saying, like, in order to catch up, he needs so much time. Yeah, he does, yeah. Like, I think that's okay. Again, like, Fnatic is getting stronger on one hero, essentially. Like, I know Puck's gonna get Hex, and then Dying's gonna get another item, but that's... Like, whatever. It's just, they're not... So everyone's getting stronger, but the Tiny's getting stronger. No, I think Alliance is getting stronger at a quicker rate because their hero essentially used gold better. Does that make sense? Luna uh, and Marana used gold much better than spread out more a Puck and, a, you know, Undying. Yeah, but you're making an unfair comparison by comparing the Luna to other heroes because you have to compare the Luna to Era because they're both ones. Right, I think they both well, accelerate the same rate. If Trixie gets an Aghanims with the Flesh Golem, that Tiny is gonna hit pretty hard. Well, you already have a Flesh Golem Aghanims already on the EGM. Oh, that's fine, just relocate with double damage and insta-kill somebody. That's true, too. I, can do it, I can't even do that much math to me. What's that, 309? They could backdoor with this as well, but I mean, it would... More or less it's result in, risky. Well, result in death. No, man up. Five man snowball. Well, I do that, but I don't know if Era is in the same boat. Nice down. I'm actually gonna download that replay and show you the error of your ways. I'm ready, man. My body is ready. So S4 is kinda just like hanging out all by himself. I think aside from the tiny wisps, he's not gonna die to anybody else. So I think he can even live through that as well. Like he could just BKB Drunken Haze and or just BKB TP. Get out of there. Yeah. No, you can't TP because of the toss. Stand in the new the small neutral creeps, man. GG. <laughs> or in Jesus. All right. No, he would. Tiny Jim would just hit no, twice, no, 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 no. all of the creeps, then you're and gone. then toss. You're gone like a ninja. He tries to hit you and you miss. No. Drunken Haze him. He has MKB. Drunk. Damn. <laughs> He's a shame. It's all right, man. Don't logic me. This sounds like an argument we have to about snowball. And I keep telling you, don't snowball us in. You're like, but this and but that. Oh, we snowball. Are they gonna relocate? They can't relocate on S4 because he has blink. Yeah, they're gonna just push. Oh, no. Oh, not that good. Avalanche gonna be there. Should be a free kill. Who dropped the chain? Oh, oh, no, nah, he was rifted. He couldn't. Well, he did. He has no buyback. He got the violin. So, I don't think they can defend anymore. Nope. And Tiny does a lot of damage in face. Uh, he has Aegis, too. He just doesn't oh, care. Four. All right, here comes the Brewmaster Ultimate. Needs to toss him off an arrow. Going. It's right clicking on the Bruce. Oh, he going. just doesn't care, but he's losing a lot of HP on the back line. He's getting healed up. Acceptor, where are you at? And the right clicks are coming in from Lola. Lola's running with the speed KB on. That's not a good sign. And here comes Aero. He is, uh, yeah. Ooh, killing everything. He just killed the combo. Well, that's four bomb back, but he doesn't have his ulti. Lotus is going to be the next drop inside of the base. Radiant Fly is actually the one fortified. who gets the double kill. Radiant's and they want to continue chasing this, at least for the attack. time being. Era has actually decided to place an objective Radiant's gaming. Kills him tier 3 tower. Honey, going to get clapped here. He's fine. He might end up dropping. Gets Radiant's the phase shift. Era gets so arrowed again. Attack. Lotus still trying to do whatever right-click damage he can, but so nobody, nobody does any damage. Well, he's missing against towers because MKB does not work against towers. 
All right. Miss. Miss. No, it's not yeah, missing more often. More often. Radiance bottom down. There goes a the middle rack. No, 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 no. Load up. You don't miss against the heroes. Okay, toss him. You can still toss him. The block. Clean oh, off. Oh, Ake, he does. Oh, he got the kill. Oh, Ake. Oh, no. Meanwhile, the radiance we'll bottom down. Run under attack. Load. Okay. You you need to be able to cleave off your zombie. Okay. <laughs> From downtown. Oh god. That's where it's fine. He's got blink. Oh, there's one Rax. They could just keep going. Yeah. Era still has his Aegis. Who's TP in middle? No tell, what are you up to? Oh man, living the life. What a dude. Fly's also out of mana. I don't know how that's possible, but... He is. I don't know. Hey man, he's still so ripped, it's fine. Radiance middle tower Slowly whittle them there. Dude, so ripped's legit, Radiance man. middle you get, tower like, has fallen. You got it. Instantly. Still again, yeah, still toss. Push the heal. Look, at this point, you just toss S4 and hit him. He, if no he collapses no. and blinks away. No tail stands in the heal. All right, he's got his ult. Okay. I mean, I think Aegis is gonna be fading. So he's Aegis just is gone. Him. Aegis is gone. Yeah, the panther is just like, yep. No. Not me, please. No, they're gonna go in for the phase. They, they see EGM one dead. Ammo bulldog two hit dead. On the back line here, it's just panther still running around. Dyer's oh. top tower. Okay. Boom. Chain frost. Oh. Infinite bombs. Oh. Is gonna go okay. Oh. oh. Not quite. Such a letdown. He's going back in. And Era actually died. No, no. Good wisp just... They're constantly being killed. Watch the Watch the dead look. Through the gate. Plus like 800 life or something. He's under attack. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Well, I think we had a Twitter question answered. Yes, we will see Kato access it. And yes, it will be good. GG. What a game. Okay, so... I think the one thing that we can take away from this game is that even if you're ahead against a tiny wisp, really freaking hard to kill him apparently. Junior Cottle heals the wisp with the laser. Yeah. It's like... Talk about the game as we come back, but uh, Fnatic, another victory over uh, arguably a...